just had lunch chilled a little bit and now it's time to explore our private little beach this is one of the best things in western australia i found is that you can have beach where you can not only drive but have all to yourself there's literally no one around we saw one car driving past earlier but they didn't stay here so that's pretty amazing to have this entire spot to ourselves chris already jumped in the water put his mask on look at the color of the water Ooh. It's so cold. Chilly. Yeah. How does it feel to swim without a wetsuit? Very strange. I feel very naked. A few people actually asked recently why you're wearing a wetsuit. Because it's so bloody cold. Yeah. So it's actually quite deceiving right now. It looks like it's really warm water. It is oh, not warm. Very cold water. <laughs> it's the only way I can stay comfortable underwater is in a three mil wetsuit. I made it up. <laughs> it's a new kind of diving. <laughs> That's about as deep as I can go nowadays. <laughs> what do you have there? My <laughs> new. Doesn't fit very well. No. It's gonna be hard to hold everything. Because it's a fish spiker, it won't work. Oh my god, I mean you've got that. <laughs> nice job. I'll go for some more. You okay out there? Huh? You okay out there? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Look at you, whiskey. Green lips. Legend! Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's 12.7. Not so my biggest green lip is too small. <laughs> Fail! No. Oh well. Good morning! morning. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. The tide is so low and so calm. So it's nice and early, probably around 6 30 a.m. The outfit in the true outfit style is decided to go and climb this rock. <laughs> it's a big rock. Just to get a bit of a, I guess, good view from the top. So yesterday that was quite funny. We bumped into again Derek and Jane and their three kids from lapping the island. Legends. So it's like the fourth time we see them around this ground. It's so cool. And always in places like this. And Derek is a really good diver, so they went together. Get some abalone. Yeah, got loads of abalone. So um, prepped all that, they're in the freezer. But I'm really keen to get some green lip. And I also want to keep the shell of a big one if I find it. But um, the four I got yesterday were all undersized. They have to be 14 centimeters long, which is actually a bit of a mean feat. So I'm um, gonna go in today. Hopefully not take as long because I know what I'm looking for now. <laughs> and yeah, get some green lip. All right, this way. Ready for the ascent? All right, ready for the ascent. <laughs> Can't wait to see the view from the top. Coming down might be a bit hairy. Oh, Steve. Wow. <laughs> well, look at the view. Wow. So many islands. 
Literally 360. All right, take two on the abalone diving. <laughs> Hopefully get a monster green lip. That's the goal. Let's see how we go. Coming back. What do you have there? Three big ones. All right, I've got a measure arrow with that. Wow, it's huge. That's definitely on size. Gosh, easy. <coughs> okay. Yeah. That's Easily. Crazy. Yeah. Easily. Awesome. Look at you within five minutes. Easily. Awesome. A bit more water for them. Just filmed a big octopus. Oh. So I believe you allowed five. Five. So what do you think you'll do? Get two more. <laughs> I knew I was going to say that. Now where was I? Straight ahead? Yeah, you were actually quite far. Yeah, that's going to be hard to find again, but I'll give it a go. Um, big octopus on this rock here. No. Yeah. Big octopus, like, so cool. Love them. I would never shoot an octopus. Okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Good luck. Two to go. Thank you. Huh. Yes. <laughs> Keep being the biggest one. It's much of a match, ne? This one's a bit thicker though. I reckon <laughs> this has got more meat than that one, even though it's slightly smaller shell. You have to put back one in the ocean. Which one, one is going to be? I'll put this one back. These ones are ours. For lunch. It's this Goodbye. guy's lucky day. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> Giving it good crack. Spoon worked, but it uh, <laughs> did better days. <laughs> Step number two is to grab our fancy new Fire Chef knife. I love the like the carbon buildup that they've left. It's amazing. Don't get your toes. Oh, don't get your fingers. My toes. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong if I get my toes. Oh. <laughs>
got two abalones for lunch. That was a lot of work. It was you? a lot of work. Just collecting the shells now. But that seems more enjoyable in a way than the rows, is it? Much more enjoyable, yeah. You get much more meat. A bit more bang for your buck, I guess. <laughs> and um, hopefully I can keep a couple of these shells and polish them up as a that souvenir. That would be cool. Because they're beautiful inside. Yeah, they're beautiful. All right. While Chris was preparing the abalones, I've made a really nice salad. So we're gonna cook them up on induction outside and we're gonna have lunch with a view over there. Not a bad lunch spot. And not, not a bad all. lunch. Look, Look at, that. at that. Thank you for the abalone. You're very welcome. That looks so good. Can't wait to dig in. All right, first impression of Greenlet. I'll have a taste test as well. Firmer. Maybe not quite as good as the row. Fish here. Tiny bit. So delicious. Mmm. Yeah, tiny bit fishier. Very good. All right, let's dig in. Bon appétit! Okay, the weather has completely cleared up. It's been cloudy all morning long. We are just packing the mog because sadly it's time to leave this beautiful place and carry on our adventures elsewhere. But first, I want to drive this really steep rock. I've seen another four-wheel drive do it. It didn't look so bad. Ange and I have walked it twice, worked out our line, and I'm just really keen to put the mog through its paces on something really steep and uh, build that confidence off-roading. So yeah, we're cleaning everything up. We're gonna leave a bunch of stuff behind because it is very steep. It's not worth the risk of that flying around in the back. So um, yeah, we're gonna get it done. Okay, we're at air pressure, so I'm ready to rock, are you? I'm ready for the first rock step.
did it with ease. Steepy boy. So this is the spot where we got stuck for about 10-15 minutes last time so I'm going to try and boot it through a bit faster see if it nails it. Are right, you ready for me? Always ready. Oh yeah let's do this. I'm going to try without diff locks, four wheel drive, I'm going to try and hit this in third gear let's see how we go. Some speed ate that, eh? You look like you're sliding. <laughs> oh my god. I, <laughs> I power slid around that track. That was sick. I get in me good if I don't have to jump. Now we got a steep part. And then we've got a really soft part. So this is a tricky one because I've got to go real slow. And then I gotta boot it. Actually, I think I'm, I might have to track this one. I don't want to take a whole heap of speed down this rock step. <sighs> oh, my nerves are up after that big climb. All right, All right and just give me the go ahead. Okay, second gear, forward drive. Nice and slowly down. Tides has made it harder. She's doing well. Two and a half thousand revs, she's killing it. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the worst times we could have done this with the tide, but all good. Another very steep section and a bit tight in one spot as well and off camber so it's be interesting.
Do you want to jump in? Yeah. 